It's a story as long as time. This is a huge motion picture story. It's one of those opportunities where you just go, I would love to do that. It started out as a little kid's programme before the news came on. There'd been nothing quite like it before and it made waves. Yeah, I grew up on it, yeah. Wouldn't that be fun to, uh, to be involved in the remake of a classic? The Magic Roundabout is an all-action animated adventure for all the family. Now, where to begin? It's got quite a story cast in it. So admired and adored. Dougal is really sweet. He's very humorous. I really like him. He's a lot like me. Dougal, I knew you'd make it. Florence is such an endearing character. There's just not a bad bone in her body. I think he's trying to tell us something. This, this is wonderful to get a chance to play him. He's an icon, isn't he? I mean, it, anyone would want to play Brian the Snail. Let's jump him. Charge! <laughs> I was very thrilled to be asked to play Ermintrude. She's a fearful snob. I was hoping that the peak of a volcano wouldn't be the pinnacle of my career. Chill out. My favourite character was probably Dylan. I've got something, Stash, that just might help. Dylan, we don't have time to experiment with recreational activity. He's a sort of uh, cool philosopher. A Raimondo playing soldier set. Sergeant Sam First Decorative Clockwork Regiment, sir! Well, he's a train. Um, he's quite an optimistic character. The rest of the characters in the film can't hear him at all, so he basically just talks to himself. So you go, look! Oh, oh OK, well, then I'll just look then. Zebedee, thank goodness. Uh, I play Zebedee. Zebedee! Zebedee! There's only one villain in this story, and that's Z-Bat. If only people would let him dominate the entire world and give him his own way, he'd be terribly happy. <laughs> I've waited 10,000 years for my revenge. Revenge is a dish best served cold. The evil Zebad is determined to freeze the world because that's what he likes. Tell me about the diamonds, or I'll make you wish you'd backed a pooper scuba. Three diamonds were required to uh, protect the world from Z-Bad. The heroes must work together to rescue their home. Each one is tested in their own particular way. They'll need Zebedee's magic. And a lot of bravery and luck. We have to be brave and find the diamonds. Brian's right. We're going to save our world. Nothing short of a sea of boiling lava will keep me from that diamond now. Oh, sugar. Digital technology means that Dougal and friends can go places and do things they've never done before. It's all about altitude over attitude, Ermin dude. We have assembled an enormously talented team of international animators. As they animate the characters, they will also look in the mirror at the side of their computer and pull their faces so they can see how a human face would move. Animation, in a sense, is one long special effect. It's very, very beautiful to watch, um, very detailed. Sam, stop mincing around with that duster! I think the whole film is the special effect, because you are suspending disbelief. You're having to create a whole new world. Your days in the sun are over, Zippity! You use music to bring the emotion out of the piece. I've been able to have the full symphony orchestra of uh, 86 musicians. When I read the script, so many ideas came to mind immediately because it's such an exciting script. Every score is uh, a challenge. Don't think you're getting a sugar lump just for turning up. And this film has been a labour of love for me, really. This is a very British, eccentric, epic story with its tongue firmly in its cheek. It's a film for everybody. I can fly! No, I can't. The Magic Roundabout is set to be one of the biggest films of 2005 and a family favourite for years to come. It's so special. Done such a great job. It's a terrific script. Friendship, betrayal. It's a rattling good yarn. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to be part of it. It's just so sweet. The children are going to love it. So get ready for the ride of your life. Soon this whole crazy trip will be behind us. On the Magic Roundabout. Coming roundabout February 2005. Time for bed.